Welcome folks to our look at Cubifactorium, a game that's just come out onto Steam Early Access after being in closed alpha since 2018. This is another one of those build a colony, set up production lines and then automate everything style games. Uh, this time we're on an island with lots of pigs and all our colonists appear to have taken their tops off. Not quite sure why, but never mind. So we've got ourselves quite a nice little territory to explore, plus some enemies over here. There's an enemy bonfire and some pricks just hanging out over there. Not something that we need to worry about straight off because we need to set up all the basics and all that. This is about, I think, three levels into the campaign mode, which means that we're actually carrying over all our colonists and all our stock on the boat from the previous island, which is good because it means that we don't have to start from absolute scratch each time. But what I am going to do is just get rid of all these trees from the starting area, just so we've got a nice clean area to work with. Right, so we can actually expand our territory. Let's be doing that to start with because we haven't got very much um, land. Uh, we can't do anything yet though because we need to do it by bonfires, but that requires wooden log and rock. We are making wooden logs from uh, chopping down trees. However, our boat is full of good stuff, including loads of wooden logs from before. So we may as well be starting to get them to unload a bunch of the raw materials just so we've got um, a nice starting point. Get some water out as well. And maybe some wooden boards as well, which is pretty normally produced in a little factory type thing but uh, we can get it off our ship as well because we've got some from last time excellent so they're all getting very busy indeed they're unloading the ship i'm going to speed things up a little bit we've also got pigs for some reason in the last scenario i ended up with pigs and now they're actually literally colonists if you look at the work order screen we've got loads of lads here and some of them are pigs including mr pig and also road dog excellent uh, loads of lads all bit getting gonna get very busy very soon so, to make sure that we have got our territory, we will now build that bonfire, as promised. Build one there. Build one there. And that should expand ten tiles around the bonfire, which is all very nice. Trying to stay away from the bricks up there. Yeah. First of all, we'll set up a well. Right. Well, well, well. Goes there, I think. Now, in this game, stockpiles are king. So, once you've set up a well, you'll need somewhere to put the water. So, we need a stockpile. We'll put it right next to it, just there. This stockpile, water. Oh, that's rock. <laughs> Don't want to accept rock. Water, there we go. So left click on the well, right click on the stockpile, and that'll make it so that when they take the water out of the well, they'll put it in the stockpile. Although they've already tried putting in rocks. God damn it. For those two seconds I had rock set um, on that stockpile, they've already loaded everything into there, which is a bit of a pain. In fact, what I'll do, while I think about it, is I shall set some... Gen well, not generic stockpiles, but some stockpiles over here. For I'll I'll put all the um, all the wo wooden log type stuff and the the basic rock type stuff over there, just so it's not like um, all miles away. Those are probably aren't actually that big. So already, look, our well guy is now getting very busy indeed, putting water into there, which means the the lads can drink. We all also need to give them food. Uh, the work order screen, as I showed you earlier, is another thing like you know, Rimworld style. Um, you basically have to select what they need to do. Um, so um, Adalmar is basically a, w a workplace guy. And so is Dighthard. Um, Edeltroud is all about farming. And so is Fulberta. All very specialised. Uh, and so on. The bigger the dot, the, the better they are at it. And you can assign them to like think vague things like mining, farming and stuff like that. And more specific single building things all across here. All good. And it's all, all those work orders are carried over from the previous scenario, so I don't need to set them this time. I think there's a couple of well people. Right, so let's set up a farm. Uh, we've got some food from the previous thing, but we, it's always good to get more. So let's set up a farm there. Quite a big one. Choose tomatoes, why not? Uh, and we'll also have... Let's have a food stockpile. Not too big. There we go. Oh, I've <laughs> Oops. I slightly bugging up the... Um, oh, well, never mind. So, left click on the farm, right click on there, which will make all the stuff that we harvest go into the stockpile. And it's automatically set it to tomatoes this time. And for some reason I had to set it, uh, the water one to manually to accept water, but this one automatically. I haven't quite worked out all the hotkeys and stuff like that just yet. Right, anyway... I'm going to put up a little bit faster so we can see how people are walking around. And a lot of people are idle at the moment. We've got 14 idle people and no housing, actually. So what I might do is... Uh, I don't usually do this until later, but I think I'll, I'll set up a few houses if I can. I think I've got... Oh, no, I haven't got... 
I haven't got any um, enough wooden boards and stone blocks yet. I think it's because I unloaded some wooden boards, which is all these, but I didn't actually unload any um, stone blocks because we haven't really got that many of them. I'll unload what we've got, actually. I think I'll do that. We need two stone blocks for that. So yes, now it's actually lit up. So I'm going to add, um, let's see, a couple there and there. That'll give us a space for eight colonists. But we've got a million colonists. Um, if you give them housing, they are more productive, which is handy. So if we are going to get make more wooden planks and stone blocks to make things like this, we will need to set up workshops. A basic workshop will do. And that's into production. And we'll put that quite close to these stockpiles up here, I think. Let's put it there. So this is good to also... But let's see, what, what, what are we going to make? We're going to make stone blocks and wooden boards. And uh, we need a stockpile to cope with our output. Let's put it kind of here-ish. Select that, go to there. Has that automatically chosen it? No, it hasn't. I think you have to press... You may have to press Alt or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, let's set that to stone blocks and wooden boards. Right, they're busy constructing that. So they'll accept... Um, stone blocks and... Well, they'll, they'll accept all the raw materials from here. And then put it in, the finished stuff into here. Or whatever. There's a production line there, I promise. God, look, they're all getting tangled up in each other there. Silly sods. Our farm is coming along. Look, our first harvest. We put our berries and stuff there. If you want a little sort of like a um, guide to how things are going, or what you want to target next, you can hover over recommendations here. So it's, at the moment it's telling me I should be mining these lads over here, so why not? Let's do that. Uh, now it's actually telling me to build houses, but we were doing that already. It's telling me to make more farming stuff, and also make a brewery, and also a workplace and all that sort of stuff. Whatever. I think we are actually um, reasonably good to start with. We've got enough tools, I think, to actually do our things. We actually have got a target of making five stone swords, though. So I might set up a second workplace there. All that'll do is make swords. But we'll need to make swords. You actually do need wooden handles and stone blanks. So it might be wise. I mean, we've actually got some of those on the ship, but let's start afresh. Let's make let's make all those things. I think if I press if I press alt that might have actually done something. No. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll work that out another time. Uh, we need to make sure that this some stockpile can accept or oh, some stockpile can accept stone swords. Um, which are th there, in this case, a poor one, because we're not... I'll select them all, just in case, but I think all we can make at the moment is poor stone swords. In fact, yes, the target is to do poor stone swords. So, a uh, cr uh, crafty type lad is making stone blocks now, because he's got s those two rocks in the, um, in the store. And you're taking that to there. That's all good. We've already actually built these houses. Uh, we've, yeah, room for four. So far... We've actually got two spaces left in there. It automatically assigns them. Yeah, all, all's good there. Uh, I could be doing with making another bonfire. Uh, later on in the game, there are things like trains and zeppelins and conveyor belts to, conv to convey all your stuff all over the place. Oh, I need to make a table. So they're going to be a bit happier when they're eating and drinking. Let's put that right there. It's all getting a bit crowded down here. Now, I think we've probably got enough bandwidth to make another house, actually. Yeah, this is going to be a housing district. And what I could also do with is making... Getting some clay. So I'll mine out that uh, mountain there. Make another little stockpile of for clay only. It's a bit of a wonky stockpile, but never mind. Um, clay is that stuff over there. I've actually mined shitloads of clay from a previous scenario, so I could just unload some of that. I've got 78 clays over there. But we'll mine some more. I'm sure it will come in handy for some We have actually got a little treasure chest there, so it might be worth bonfiring again. Let's expand our territory. Again, we're getting a bit rather... In fact, we're getting very close to the enemies. I might actually um, cancel that, because it is. I have to cancel it. Oh, no. That's a pig. So, what's it? So, oink and hammer was that. God damn it. Right, hang on, let's... I think I can cancel it. Like that. Yes, yeah, so, there we go. As I say, I don't really... I'm a bit worried about um, getting these lads until until we've got some swords on the go and stuff like that. So they're busy using the table to eat. Oh, the pig's eating at the table. What a sophisticated pig. He's 
gone now. I'm going to rename it. It's a fisty pig. There we go. It's a fisty pig, the pig. Nice. Okay, I think we've got things set up quite nicely now. But production wise, I could do with. We haven't really got that many trees around here. I'm going to expand again. This time over to the east. I might also set up a little tree grove. Just that we haven't really got that much space. Again, I need to keep on expanding. And we have got the ability to maybe go over there. But let's actually work our way around rather than try to do anything clever. The housing is coming along nicely. Let's watch you in action. There we go. All good. Now, food-wise, we haven't got very much. I need to make sure that the... Um, are the farmers actually doing anything? It's, I think it's because we've got so many colonists these days that we're actually going through our food supplies a bit too quick. I'm going to unload some of our delicious strawberries to make sure that we have got food flapping about the place. And this, I'm also... I'm going to make this accept strawberries as well. Strawberry donuts? No, 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 no. Strawberries, there we go. So it means I'll carry that over to the stockpile. But yes, I think we do need a second farm. So let's make that over there. And let's make this strawberries. I think they're fast growing. Like that. Right, harvest. Exclamation mark, what's going on here? No, uh, oh, we haven't forgot to do that, didn't we? Okay. Um, there. What's this stop pile over here? Uh, that's the rock one, okay. Right, so that means now this lad is going to put stuff over there. He's making his wooden boards, isn't he? Uh, we have got... Oh, we've, got, we've got to make wooden parts. I think, they're, I think they've got a bit more of a weird requirement, wooden parts. They require wheat as well. Wheat's going to be tricky. I'm not quite sure where I can get wheat from. Did I carry any wheat over? We've got 31 wheats. Okay. Well, since we can't do anything with... Well, since we can't grow any wheat for the time being, let's all get that off. The ship. I may make yet another. Oh, horse station. Oh, we can make horse stations now. Uh, which is, like, good for carrying things long distance. We haven't really got much to do in that respect, so let's just build another. Yet. Oh, we can't. No space. Put it there. This stockpile seems to be the, um, the main one to use. So output stockpiles still don't accept products. What, have I, what do I need to make that? I mean, we can I just propagate to outputs? That should hopefully sort things out. Oh yes, there we go. Yeah, that was a, that was a good button to press. So now we can accept the right goods. Good. So now we are actually making stone stone blanks. So we kind of like use these as guides, I guess. So, because once we've actually hit the targets here, uh, we've completed the level, essentially. I should have mentioned that earlier. Unfortunately, the whole wooden parts thing, we actually need 50 of these, and we've only got, like, 30 wheat. So, yeah, we are. We will need to find some at some point. Why is nobody building this thing? I think we need more construction people. Um, right, who's a good constructor? You haven't got a job. You haven't got a job. There's loads of constructors, but I think, what what do we need for this, then? I think this, is, this might be the problem. What do we need for for bonfire? Wooden log and rocks. Have we just not got any rocks? I don't think we have. God damn it. I'm forgetting the basics now. Right, let's get rid of these. Because that'll get us some basic rocks. I think we have trouble is we've been processing all our rocks into um, stone blocks. Which is not ideal. Right, let's get rid of Let's unload a lot of those. And they should put things into the rock stockpile. Which is over here, and then then they'll do things, and everything will be good. Our bonfire is being built. Plenty of rock now. Plenty of wood off the ship. I want to make a tree grove at some point. Aldemar reached basic workplace level four. Now the game recommends you do specialise people in this rather than try to get everyone to do everything. So we'll continue to expand. Makes sense. See what else is out there. And also what I'll do is continue to take down this mountain so we've got a bit more flat space in our current territory. Otherwise this is all going to waste. 
Right, everyone's charging around like mad. Have we made any stone sword yet? I think we have. It's actually, it's actually only a wooden sword. I think we've got one. We've got two, I think. In inventory, two. Uh, production target for this island, five. For all islands, ten. Ooh. Interesting. So as soon as we designate some fighters, they will... Uh, those fighters will go and pick up the best available weapon. So we're going to have some crappy swords, basically. I'm thinking maybe this stockpile is not going to be nearly enough. So I think I'll add another one there. This is going to be... Well, everything's in here. It's all very inconvenient. Um, I'll make it so that... Fin I said this is going to be for finished goods, didn't I? Um, let's make this skill have all the swords and things. Because I think they may be, um, but they may not stack. So this stockpile over here, I do not want swords to be in. There we go. Now he's carrying that over there. Good. And what I might do also, I keep on saying might. I'm definitely going to do everything that I say when I say might. Uh, I think I'll expand this stockpile rather roguishly over there. What do you now? There's flowers in the stockpile. Ooh. Right, so I've still only got two swords. I wonder if I should try to concentrate them. I've actually set up a th another th a thing over there without actually making them do anything. Let's try... Is there anything else that we need to make? Let's make this the wooden parts thing. Because that's going to require... Uh, wooden boards, stone blocks, and harvested wheat. Uh, all the wheat's over there at the moment. So, all the stockpiles, yeah. They'll, they'll feed up, feed together quite nicely. That is putting its output there. We don't really want that, I don't think. Um... So let's do that. Oh, no, 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 not that one. Don't want that one. We want to go over to there. All the parts can go into that thing over there. So some bloke will eventually go and do that. We're actually not, we're still not producing that much food. And we've only got a um, combination for 12. Uh, I, how many colonists have we got these days? I mean, we've got, I don't think, pigs don't count because they have barns. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got ten there. 16, 18, so we could do with another two houses, I guess. I could make better houses, but I'm not gonna. There, nice. And we've explored the east side of the island now, and we've got a treasure chest. Let's harvest that, and we'll get out. Oh, we'll get a stone sword out of there. A wooden handle, flowers, water, and strawberries. So we get a stone sword to add to our wooden sword. Ooh, I does that count? It does, yes. I keep on getting confused whether they're wooden swords or stone swords, but they are stone swords. I still think it's Minecraft. Welcome to the last ever Minecraft... No, no, no. <laughs> so, yeah, water is... I think he's... That's saying they require water, but they've got water, so that's not going to be a problem. We are starting to make parts... What's that? A trading dummy to... Pra Ooh, okay. We may need to do that. Where can we put this? Training dummy. We're running out, really running out of space. Right, so there. We'll do a little training dummy there. Horse station, but we don't really need to worry about that. We should, I guess... Oh, okay. Let's let's do that barn I was talking about. Because we do need to let the pigs have a bit of a, a resty poos. I don't know how many uh, pigs their barn will fit. Let's hope not that many. Meanwhile, it's telling me to harvest... Oh, it's telling me to actually get rid of all this. Rightly so, I guess. I just want all that space to be ours. So these wooden parts are going to have to be a thing. We need to find some way of growing wheat. Wheat. Unfortunately, wheat doesn't grow on normal land. You have to build it on special special soil. Which I'm not 100% sure where that's going to be. I think we I think we just need to have a bit of a, a expansion program. Oh, there's more treasure over there. Let's put bonfires for days. Well, they're getting busy. Absolutely chopping the hell out of everything. Oh my god, lad. Mate! It's Jesus! Is this just really shallow water, then? I guess it is. Huh. Alright. That surprised me. Yeah, they're all at it now. God damn it, it's, a, it's just a puddle! It's not a, it's not a notion at all. Oh, here we go. Look, bonfires are being built over there. Or will do shortly. You're requiring... Oh, there we go. No, it's already done. All done. Wheat! Wheat! Right, okay, let's expand to the wheat. So that's the soil I was talking about, that kind of like yellowish soil. We can only plant wheat on that. We can plant tomatoes and strawberries anywhere we bloody well want. 
We are starting to get on top of the food situation by the looks of it. Um, we don't need, I mean, we don't really need to plant any more. I think that would be just be creating work for no reason. Uh, meanwhile, I was getting a bit stuttery. Uh, I found the game does this after a while of playing it. It does get a bit laggy. But not, nothing too bad. You just have to stop, stop the game and restart it again to solve anything like that. Um, still got a few bugs. Um, since I played it last time, they've definitely polished it up quite a lot. Um, it used to be quite buggy. Now it's just a tiny bit buggy here and there. Uh, but all seems to be very smooth going at the moment, which is all rather cool. Uh, by the sounds of it, they're going to spend about up to two years in early access, so it's going to be a bit of a long thing. Uh, so probably about 60% complete, the game. Uh, so the early game's all sorted. It's just um, like later on, which needs to be attended to. So we have actually got the ability to get those chests. What are these? What's in here? Another stone sword. Oh, another stone sword. And a stone shovel and all. Ooh. Get them. That'll save us some work. We aren't really making any stone um, swords at the moment. They're getting very lazy. Which is that stone sword making thing? It's this one, isn't it? Have we run out of logs again? I think we have. That's why um, nothing's been made. Nothing good, anyway. Now, let's see if we can actually find uh, how to make a little uh, tree grove. Because I think it's it may be something that you have to research first in the um, production tree. Oh, this is confusing, this. <laughs> it's tier one, anyway. Tier two is nowhere near, we're nowhere near tier two yet. Uh, tree grove. There's a horse station we've already got. Bread, donuts, blah, blah, blah. Can't actually see where we need to... Oh, there's a Zeppelin factory there. Can't actually see the grove, um, the, the tree grove. Hmm. There's log... I think there's still a few more logs on here. I have to unload all those. So I saw, I saw a tree grove in the menu in the previous scenario, and I can't actually find the damn thing. So instead, we're just going to have to um, do the old chopper I think. I don't think you can plant things on an individual basis. Ah, the wheat. The wheat is ready to actually be harvested, so let's get that. And once that's all taken, I can actually plant some new stuff there. I feel so very busy. There's lots of, lots of, pl there's plenty of, plenty of raw materials. Flappy about the place at the moment. We do definitely need these logs. Actually, we've got loads of... Oh, this is wood, isn't it? This is... Oh, no, this is wooden logs. That's fine. There's actually plenty. So, that should get them going soon. We've actually... Oh, we've actually um, achieved the, um, the sword. Yeah, we've got all five swords now, so... We don't need to worry so much about that now. Let's just take off production for that. Just so they're not wasting time. Okay, so let's um, allocate some fighters. Um, this is a fighting thing. So, Bjorn, you can get fighty. Elfeldo, whatever you're called, you can get fighty. They don't have any other jobs, which is convenient. Ah, no one else is that good. Um, well, Bernhild, you're currently a constructor. I'll take you off construction. Fulberta can do construction when you're not farming. What are you doing? You're, you're about the chopper. You're harvesting, so let's, let's put you on fighting. So, one, two, three, four. Sadly, we can't make the pigs fight. Osbert, also a constructor, also a fighter. So, whilst I've been in those menus, they have actually been um, grabbing the swords. So, one training dummy is working at the moment. Let's actually clone that. Press Alt and place. Take up quite a bit of... Oh, oh God. Oh, well, that pile's barely used anyway, the stone sword stockpile. So, let's build a few more training dummies and let's get our lads up and running. Because at the moment... Try and get this sorted out. Oh, the enemy strength is now inferior, because earlier on that said overwhelming. Oh, look at this. Enemy strength 21, our warrior strength 92. Oh, we're much better now. I think it's actually quite straightforward, this scenario. Um, well, whatever. We'll go and tonk them in a bit. For now, we need to sort out this wheat. We haven't, haven't actually harvested any of this yet. I think it's because they're too busy doing the other stuff. But once I get busy with that, we can sort out. Anyway, let's, um, let's actually go for the beer now. No, move in fact, we can just click on that. Can we not? Oh, no, we can't. Oh, we have to click on the brewery. Um, what, what does that require? Oh, we're stone blocks and wooden logs to build. 
Um, do we? Let's just let's put the brewery. I don't. I don't know where we should put this. Let's put it actually near the wheat. We also need a f another new. F oh no, a horse station. Oh, we don't need a horse station. So beer and tea. I think the brewery can make both of those things. No, we're missing stone blocks. We need more stone blocks. Should be made there. We seem to be. Okay, let's make this the wooden board thing. Uh, and this the stone blocks thing. Let's not make any more stone blanks. I think that's. We're probably wasting our time making those stone blanks, aren't we? Wooden handles can go as well. Right, so let's concentrate on the basics, essentially. These wooden parts not being made. Oh, we haven't actually. Oh, god damn it. Okay. There. Forgot about that. So now we can make. Wooden parts are going to go into there. Uh, I completely forgot about that. That's annoying. Right. So this is going to be making wooden parts out of wooden boards, stone blocks, and wheat. That's a long way away from the wheat, isn't it? Okay, in which case, hang on. I'm going to move that to over there. I'm going to demolish this. Somehow. I think that's demolishing it. Maybe they have to do it manually. So that's automatically going to have the um, the stockpile associated. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's going to have the automatic stop because I cloned the the first building. That's going to have the stockpile association already in there. Right, so that's a bit closer to the wheat now. I'll make a wheat stockpile because we don't actually have one yet. I'm going to make it. Where did I make it? I'm going to make it here. I think. There we go. So I can make a wheat farm, I guess. I can start making one anyway. Right, wheat. And go to there. And now we're making new wheat as well, which we will need. Excellent. Now let's get moving. So what I've got going here is a, a, a new well and a water stockpile here, because the, the brewery does need that. And make sure that they do make everything. So it's going to make... Oh, it is actually wheat. Um, so, yeah, the, the wheat stockpile is a bit irritating, but... So the, the wheat is going to... And the wheat, the wheat and the water is going to feed into the brewery. It's going to make the tea out of those two things. And then it's going to turn that... Oh, hang on. No, what, what's, how, is it, how does it do this? Oh, okay. Um, no, I was, I'm actually a bit wrong there. It's some... Um, uh, the beer requires w um, water and wheat, but the tea requires water and harvested flowers. Right, so I for some reason I thought the beer was made out of tea, which was all kinds of chaos. We, we have actually got some harvested flowers somewhere. Um, but let's... Hang on, harvested flowers, there we go. The art is like clogging up the place over here. Wildflowers can be harvested and processed into tea. There's a bunch more flowers over to the north, so let's quickly build... Uh, where you? There we go. Bonfire up here. And we should... What, what's all that's happening? Because we sh should start... Oh, oh, hang on a second. No, we, we haven't actually got anyone brewing, have we? We do actually need to set that going. Nantwig. You can be a brewer. i also give someone else maybe a shot at it. The well person. There, that should all be sorting itself out as we go. And now I'm thinking about attacking this place over here. Because we've got our five lads. There we go. We've got our five lads all on the go. Very straightforward, very nice combat. I don't think you can even die in this. I think you just get a bit beaten up. Terontula. God damn it. Tonk, 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 tonk. All sorted. Tarantula was defeated. Enemy camp destroyed? Yay! And we are actually expanded our territory. Oh, so there's actually not enemy lads. They're just... Um, I think they're just going to join our combat. Uh, uh, join our colony. If they want. Yeah, we do actually need to expand our territory properly into there. We can't just um, claim it. There we go. It was just literally just those bloody spiders. That was rather straightforward. I thought it was the, um, the other lads as well, but... Nope. Anyway, anyone actually doing any brewing yet? No outstock out, output pile thing, so let's put that there. Make sure that it does that. Now, now they're going to finally start brewing, the bloody lazy lads. 
And we expand this stockpile. Oh, it's, it's not a stockpile I want, is it? Um, hang on. Farm. Expand the farm. There we go. More wheat. Ah, we're finally brewing. And they're going to put all the, um, the tea and the beer in there. We don't need that much of that either. Just 15 of each. But we also need bread. And also those bloody wooden parts. Basic workplace. Making wooden parts, are we? Apparently so. They are finally starting to do stuff. Wooden parts. Yeah, that's just going to be a slow process, but it is actually now on the go. We need to make sure that there are uh, all the... Hang on, what's it need again? It's really hard to tell. Wooden planks, stone blocks, and wheat. Ah, I think we've just recruited these... Oh, yes, we have. All the people that are over here. We've expanded the territory just enough now to actually claim them, so that's, that's that taken care of. We've got even more lads now. <laughs> God damn it. Puts it automatically in alphabetical order, so I'm not quite sure who's doing what. Um, well, give them well duty. Ferdinand. Upgrade workshop. Oh, there's other stuff. But what I've also done over here is set up a bakery, which is also water and wheat, so we can make some bread, which is the other goal that we need to meet. And now we're just slowly like climbing up now, because things are very, very slowly happening. Oh, hang on. We just need to yep, make sure that we can actually bake. We've got the stockpile all sorted. This has become a very generic stockpile now. So the only thing that's slowing us down really is the fact that um, we have to like cart things for, over from the left district to the right district. But otherwise, I think we should be okay. This is, I suppose, is the biggest bugger because we do need this is this is where we need the wheat from next door, but we also need stuff from uh, this this stockpile over here. This stockpile is getting a bit crowded, so let's actually yet again expand it in an awkward fashion. The st completely rogue stockpile now. We are actually running a, a little bit out of just normal rock. Because there's not that much on the map and we've only got a little bit on our ship. There's a little bit to mine over here. So I guess we can be getting that. We need an yet another bonfire for that. But yeah. All a bit low, lacking in rock. Have I got any more rocks left? I've got four. I'll take all those out. We can turn that into stone blocks, which will be needed for our w wooden parts. Uh, which is going up. We've got... Uh, 16 out of 50. And that's what we really need to concentrate on. So, there aren't... We're not using wooden... We're not using stone blocks in anything else at the moment. Just to make double sure of that. So we're not going to be wasting them. We are concentrating purely on the, the wooden parts now. So, now it's just a kind of like a, the waiting game, I guess. Yep, yeah, we are now making bread. That's happening very quickly indeed. We are making the beer, and we are making the tea. Wooden parts. We do need warm wooden logs, actually, because we haven't actually got any new lo wooden logs coming in. So, oh Jesus, that's them. I'll be making, getting too much clay there. Let's not do that. Oh, I think we need to press the X button for that. There. Right, so that's getting those in. I also, could, as, as I say, could do with it getting those that tree grove going on, so we actually get a, re a renewable source of trees as well. I knew I was. Oh, I knew I was doing something stupid with the whole tree grove thing. Um, it's a separate menu in itself. God damn it! Right, we need we need this. We need pine trees. We need lots of them. Um, let's create ourselves a new stockpile for these. Even though we've already got one over to the right. That's automatically got the wooden logs all sorted, so that's good. Now, yes, look, 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 we are now planting trees. Oh, we've actually got enough bread and beer. We've achieved those, although they actually do end up drinking these things, so occasionally we, we do wind back on the, um, the, uh, the achieved targets. Right, finally, now we've got wooden logs coming in for days. Right, now I think that's it. I think we've basically done everything that we need to do now. So I've come up to a major problem, uh, in that there's no stone left on the island. Uh, I can't make any more wooden parts. Uh, I'm busy harvesting all that sort of stuff. However, there's a possibility that I might be able to make a shipping port using three wooden parts. So let's have a go. Oh, I think I've just done something. So I think I'm, I think I might be be able to import some rocks. We better bloody do. We've achieved all the other targets other than the wooden logs, which is yeah taking a while because of the. I keep on forgetting to harvest anything, and also I think it keeps on turning the wooden logs into things. Yeah, look, it's turning into wooden boards. I think I'm going to stop that happening. Otherwise, we are just going to keep keep on processing processing all the logs away. Right, 
Oh, ah, it's going to crash into our boat. Tonk. <laughs> it's gone again. Right, so what I'm going to do is um, I've made it so that all the water is now going to be sold. Uh, which will give us coins, and then we can actually buy some rock. Hopefully. Right, so we're almost, almost there. Almost there. Just need to make some more tea. We've got two breweries on the go now. So that's taking care of that. All the wooden parts are sorted. All the... Um, or whatever the hell it was. Wooden logs are all done. But yeah, the tea things seem to have suffered a problem. That we don't have any more flowers to make into tea. So I've changed the import-export business a little bit. So we're now importing some flowers, essentially. Yes, here we go. Excellent. And then we can finish making the tea. Nobody's drinking the tea, for some reason. But So that's, not, that's never going down, but with any luck, some point, this one of the breweries will actually go and turn that into actual tea, and we can complete the goddamn scenario. But anyway, yeah, so this is Cuba Factorium at the moment. Um, start, started out its early access, proper, well, early access adventure, after being development for a while before then as well. And, yep, available now on Steam, so go check it out, and... If you want this more, this sort of thing. Well, we may we. Oh, here we go. So we may revisit this um, and can do it on to the next scenario and see see what we can do with things like trains and stuff like that. Uh, but for now, let's leave the island and see what would be next. So I completed a few of these things. Now I'll be able to go onto a different biome. It looks a bit this sandy biome. No enemy camps. Oh, I can go to that one with no enemy camps, or that one with no enemy camps. Oh, <laughs> well that makes things a bit easier. Right, anyway, thanks for watching. Do subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Um, check out my Patreon um, by clicking on one of the links, um, either on the video itself or in the description. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.